I've heard you say things that are similar to what I've been saying about MAGA, that MAGA is more or less the labor movement that had been cut loose by the Democratic Party. I would say they were cut loose largely beginning in the Clinton administration um, and that they have now found a home over under the GOP banner um, and the neocons have moved over under the blue banner. Do you see that? You see that same picture? Yeah, I mean, I think we're in the middle of that realignment now. I mean, it was interesting because, you know, not only that, but on environmental issues, um, you're seeing, uh, you know, the, the Democratic Party, which it used to be the party of the environment, but that's slowly constrained to be just about carbon, this carbon orthodoxy, this carbon kind of monoculture. And and that's put them in the position to serve the interests of Goldman Sachs and BlackRock, which are using the excuse of, you know, reducing carbon to build these giant windmills that are so environmentally destructive that are privatizing the ocean, killing the whales, destroying the fisheries, destroying small fishermen, raising the price of energy, and that, and that these big hundred billion dollar carbon capture projects that are a part of the methane industry and the oil industry, and they're owned by BlackRock and Smithfield Chinese Company, and you know all these sovereign wealth funds that are building carbon capture pipelines across across the Midwest and use the eminent domain to steal agricultural land from from you know regular people. And um, the the Republicans are now becoming the Repu the party of the environment of habitat protection, of species protection, of wildlife protection, of clean water, clean air, restoring our soil. If you really care about climate, the most important thing you could do is restore our soils. If we restore our soils, it can absorb enough energy to put us in pre-industrial levels in terms of carbon in our atmosphere. And that's what we ought to be doing. And 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 agriculture is the biggest a uh, producer of, of carbon gases. And, uh, so in two ways, you reduce carbon and then you do all these other good things. That I, you know, I was at a talk the other night with J.D. Vance and he was talking about, you know, about the evils of mountaintop removal mining. Well, that is, you know, an inversion. Uh, Tucker Carlson taking on endocrine disruptors, that's an inversion. Uh, I... I I gave a speech, and J.D. Vance gave speeches at the at the uh, International Association of Firefighters in Boston, um, and in his speech, he endorsed collective bargaining. <laughs> the Republican convention, Sean O'Brien spoke for the first time in history, the head of the Teamsters, and, you know, the biggest union in our country. And, and so we have this really... Um, this really, uh, you know, we're in the middle of a huge realignment. And, and I, you know, I've made the point that in 2020, the Republicans got tr Trump, President Trump got roughly 50% of the vote, President Biden roughly got 50% of the vote, but the 50% of the vote that went to President Biden owned 70% of the wealth in this country. The 50% that voted for President Trump owned 30% of the wealth. So the Republican Party has become, you know, that when I was growing up, the Democratic Party was the party of the cops, the firefighters, um, you know, of, of labor people. And today that is becoming uh, the, the Republican Party. And there's still some of the union heads are, are you know, traditionally Democratic. But if you look at the rank and file of almost any union in this country, it's going to be uh, it's going to be Republican. Yeah, so I really we're, see. We're seeing this incredible realignment happen right now, and you know, 